Instant rice <laughs> in a in a box box in a before uh, oh yeah in a packet before basically it's a rice meal. What is this? Uh? This is this is bibimbap. Yeah, th this is this is uh, kimchi bibimbap I think, and also uh, another rice. It also looks like a bibimbap. So uh, this one actually requires you to microwave it. On top here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the first layer is actually the Korean rice Then after that, inside is all the uh, ingredients, ingredients uh. So you have to heat up the, the, the Korean rice in the microwave uh. So uh, yeah, this is the rice version of the instant food And this is... Yes And this one you must have seen this already. Yes. Uh, what some some uh, yang some yang yeah yeah. yeah some yang. Super overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Very spicy. Yeah, but uh, do get do try this pink one out. We have actually tried this already, so we are not gonna do it this time. The normal one, which is super spicy, is black in color. Yeah. Okay. This pink color one is actually. Cheese. Cheese. Over here it says carbonara. So it is spicy and cheesy at the same time. Yes. It tastes so good. Really, really, really. I feel like making it. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like uh, yeah, carbonara. So if let's say you have sausage, just throw some sausage and feed and you'll taste. Yes. And this? Yeah, this also, right? Yes. This is actually uh Cold noodle. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, bibim something, yeah. Bibim. Yes. Soon or today. The, the cold noodle, alright, once you have cooked it already, you are supposed to put in nice water to let it chill so it will taste really alike. So, let us tell you what are we gonna have. Yes. <laughs> we are gonna have this too. Dun -dun. Yes. This looks very trendy, oh. Yes. Right, right. Uh, which is. What is that? We have no idea. But it looks so good. Yes. So today we are gonna try out these two. According to my translator, this is a spicy sweet something. <laughs> spicy sweet noodle, I, I, yes. I assume. And uh, what Joanne is holding is something special. It looks which is like carbonara. It's a tuna actually. Oh. It's. This is tuna noodle. Yeah. Oh, on the translation, it says Don't tuna <laughs> So don't you ever tuna <laughs> It's called don't, don't tuna. tuna Yeah, so uh, Let's try it out Yes, but Something special in this is that uh, We don't have kimchi But what is a Korean meal without Yeah A banchan, right? So Are you gonna make it? Yes <gasps> We are going to make a uh, cucumber, a very simple cucumber kimchi, uh, which you can uh, prepare it within 20 minutes and it's good to eat already. So, let's go! Okay, guys, so as promised, right now we are gonna show you a simple way of making a cucumber type kimchi. So, here is about uh, two slice uh, cucumber in a container um, right now we are going to put in about one tablespoon of salt i know it might sound a lot right now but uh, we just want to uh, leave the salt in this cucumber so that it soaks up all the uh, most of the moisture from the uh, cucumber to let it stay crunchy uh, and later on once uh, we have uh, keep this for about 30 minutes if you find it too salty you can always rinse it off so one tablespoon of salt first We'll cover it with a container, give it a good shake. And now 
we'll keep this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes and we will go prepare the rest of the ingredient. Alright guys, so this is uh, the cucumber after soaking in salt for about 30 minutes. I have already did one time rinsing so it's less salty. Uh, other ingredient you need will be uh, some sliced uh, carrot, sliced uh, onion, about half of it. And also this is about 3 cloves of uh, minced garlic. Uh, other than that, to make the paste, we will be needing chilli powder, sesame, and uh, here is uh, sugar, soy sauce, and also vinegar. So yeah, that will be the ingredient that we will be needing it. First, let's start with soy sauce. We will be needing one tablespoon of soy sauce. Followed by roughly one and a half tablespoon of vinegar. One and a half. And here is about uh, two teaspoon of uh, sugar. We'll leave some and uh, later we'll just taste and we add accordingly. And we'll put in two teaspoon of uh, chili powder or chili flakes. And now we'll mix it. See how it turns into a paste? This will be our paste for the uh, cucumber kimchi. Okay, so here is the paste after mixing it. You can see uh, it's quite thick. And now we will add in our uh, garlic. Probably we'll have something lesser, about two cloves. So this is the consistency of the paste that we want. Once this is mixed already, we will just uh, pour it on top of the cucumber. And now we will put in the onions as well as the carrot. Okay, we'll use this much first. And we'll pour in about half of the sesame seed. Now, we'll give it a good mix. And guys, this is how you make a simple cucumber uh, kimchi banchan. So uh, as you can see, we have made quite a lot. Uh, you can always refrigerate it and uh, it's good to eat about. You can keep it for a few days, a good few days. So yeah, this is how you make it. Dinner. So yeah, uh, cooking this instant noodle is super easy. La. <laughs> anyway, uh, the lid was quite good, you know, yes. because you can put you just open half of the lid, put in hot water, and the other half of the lid you just put oh, water uh, mm, and pour the water. So yeah, that looks so good. This looks so nice. It's like uh, some spicy noodle, mm. and this looks like some. As you say, mayonnaise uh, tuna. tuna. And here we have the kimchi that we have uh, just told you guys about. And also uh, optional seafood tabu because we love seafood tabu. Yes. So, let's try. Let's try. Mm. <laughs> uh, mine, I don't know. I mean, based on how it looks. Smells very weird. Yeah, this actually smells a bit weird, but let's try. We'll see. See me. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I will still go with it. <laughs> really? Um, it's quite bland, the taste. This tastes good. It's like spicy noodle. Okay. No, just, just, uh, I just. It's like noodle with salt and I don't taste any marinade actually. But the, the parsley really. Mm. I can really taste the parsley. Right. It's a bit bland. It's quite weird. <laughs> so, uh, if you want to have something weird in Korea, <laughs> please try. I think it's called Don't Tuna. <laughs> Yeah, you try this, it's like... Oh yeah. This looks like a spicy... Yeah, it tastes like mm. spicy noodle. But is it spicy? Not that spicy, but it's nice. Mmm. There is some smoky flavour to it. Yes. It tastes like the... Almond that we have just ate just now. <laughs> <laughs> does the smoky? It... No, does it? Yeah, a little bit. Mm, it does. Okay, so if you're looking for something good, go for this. <laughs> and let's try our cucumber kimchi. Mm. Mm. I like it. Yes. Mm. I mean, it's not the real deal, but then the taste is there. We still can satisfy our craving, yeah. Maybe I have to put some yes. seaweed into this. Then it will taste better. Let me try. The texture is like very soft. Very soft, like something that an old person. <laughs> yeah, no, no offense. <laughs> mm. It tastes better with that. Mm. Can you give it a try? That's about it for our current snacks video. <laughs> yes, probably uh, this is the closest we can get to Korea this year because we can't go anywhere, right? So, yeah. So, we'll call it a day. Yep, we'll call it a day and uh, stay safe. Yes. Stay strong. Yes. Stay at home. Yes. <laughs> stay, yeah. Stay, keep watching. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. If you like our video, please like, comment, subscribe us, hit the bell, and we'll continue to annoy you. <laughs> Again, stay safe. See you. Bye.